and check out what just rolled into the garage. It is the Ford Courier minivan pickup truck kit from AMT. Just got reissued here this month of June and it just arrived moments ago. It's going to be a two-in-one kit. You can build it both stock and custom. You can see you can build build the beach little van or the free willing pickup. So you have both options, stock, custom, two sets of wheels, um, have the camper shell, so on and so forth. And it is today's What's in the Box. Hey everyone, and welcome to today's What's in the Box. So this kit initially got released in 78 as this exact version. Then it got a reissue following that as the Firestone version with the step side bed. Then it got reissued as the Monroe Magnum. Then it got reissued again as the Bush Baby Ford Courier 4x4 with the step side. And then again in the mid 90s as just the Ford Courier step side kit. All right, let's check it out. And we're now getting started with the cab. As you can see, it is a multi-piece cab. Moving right along to the bed parts tree. So there's the bed floor. You have the tailgate and the this front front of the uh, bed, inside of the tailgate, it's just a two-piece option, two-piece tailgate it looks like. Start with the stock bed sides. Here are the custom bed options. So this is going to be if you want to build the quote mini van option, which the with the cap and the big base windows. So that's how you do that. If you ever wonder, I wondered for a long time. There's the front custom piece, front air dam bumper assembly piece, and they have built-in fender flares. Seventies, everything had to have fender flares. Getting started now with the chassis frame parts tree. Take a look at the exhaust there. Over here you have looks like the it's gotta have the C B radio and I'm gonna say that's maybe an antenna. And moving right along to the next parts tree which has sort of everything hood, dash, inner uh inch compartment fender wells. Just a hood. Dash two piece rear axle spring leaf springs drive sh half shaft drive shafts steering column.
Now taking a look at the next part tree, which will have a good amount of the engine pieces or some of the engine pieces, including the engine block. Uh, got some steering wheel, firewall, and the random assortment of pieces. So let's look at some of the engine pieces on this parts tree. Yeah, custom steering wheel, front springs, tie rod, firewall. And over here you have the custom front uh, air dam piece, bumper piece. Looks like a rear part, rear bulkhead, or rear for the cab, or bed, or something, one of the two. Moving along to the next part street that has some more engine pieces and the seat. I'm guessing that part street is on the other tree goes to the back of the seat. So your oil pan, headers, uh, turbo option, shocks, spindles, stock steering wheel, belt assembly. And moving on to the next part sheet, this has the, well, the interior wheel bags, some custom pieces, roll bar, and the interior bucket, which pretty light on detail. But again, this is uh, fender flares, rear roll bar for the bed. And one last part tree at the front suspension cross member, whatever that piece is, and it looks like a fuel tank. And I'll take a look at the uh, cap real quick, camper shell cap, minivan, looks like it's slightly warped maybe, I don't know, I'm not going to use it, but. Now we're going to take a look at the chrome parts tree, these, here we have the stock grill, there's only one grill option, so I don't know why I said that, but there's the grill. And you have the stock rear bumper, step bumper. The stock wheels. So down here going to be a custom rear step bumper and looks the stock front bumper. I'm guessing that. Ah, uh, look, there's a CB antenna. Okay, so that other thing wasn't an antenna, I guess. I don't know what it was. And over here you have a front push bar grill, a front, front push bar with driving lights. Tail lights are there. You have a valve cover, mirrors. And now take a look at the custom wheel option, a set of vectors. And now we're going to take a look at the clear parts trees and you can see there are three of them. We'll start with the first one which is going to be the main window piece unit. You have a sunroof. Looks like some lights down there maybe. And another one of the windows on the or maybe a custom rear window. All right, and moving on to the windows for the the cab. So you have the front, rear, side, tinted blue, front as an option. And now we're going to take a look at the decal sheet. And you can see it's pretty big. Got some options there. Uh, three different, like, well, two, two sets of striping, a couple sets of license plates, some different color Ford decals for the tailgate, courier badging. Now we're going to take a look at the tires and you got skinny up front, wide out back and along with a set of metal axles but you can see they are nice pad printed, Firestone, Super Sports. So that, my friends, is going to do it for this look at the Ford Courier minivan pickup truck kit 2-in-1 from AMT. It's nice to have this one reissued. This has been one of my list of kits I would like, I wanted to get. Didn't want to pay the 
prices that they were being asked, so it's nice that this one is not a holy grail kit, but you know, close to it, I guess. I don't know. So you have two different options stock, custom air cleaner, stock air cleaner. I'm I guess I missed that. Oh well. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and get out of the way now. If you want to get yourself some Ford Courier color match paint, Jason Scott finishes can indeed get that hooked up for you. I got mine here ready to go. Been waiting for it, waiting for this one so I can get the paint. But there you go. I'll be doing a Ford light blue. I know you're not surprised by that. All right, so on that note, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.